Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I'm making Mexican soup. It's called cocido. And basically it's a beef soup. You use beef and there's lots of vegetables in it. And it's so tasty and perfect for this winter day. So I'm using shank. These are beef shanks. The bone is what gives it a lot of flavor. I have three of these. And these are zucchini squash. You cut it into big chunks. It's a chunky soup. Two big carrots. I'm going to cut them into big pieces. These are two ears of corn. I'm using half of an onion. I'm using one basic potato, and I'm going to cut it into chunks, good-sized chunks. You put cabbage in it, and this see, see this is how I'm going to put it in, big chunks. It'll fall apart, but that's the way it starts couple of bay leaves, four cloves of garlic. This is half a bunch of cilantro, half a bunch. And these are some spices. I have nor bouillon, salt, pepper, and I'm going to add a little bit of cumin just because I think cumin really makes a good flavor. So let's put this together. So I have 12 cups in a stock pot and this is boiling water. So now I'm going to add my beef shank pieces and <clears throat> I'm just gonna let those keep cooking it should take at least two hours maybe two hours and 15 minutes to cook these through so let's just get this going in about 15 minutes you will see the beef starts to release this uh, foam and it's basically just the natural stuff that comes out of beef. And we're gonna skim the top. So let's, let's get this going. Okay, I'm gonna cover this and let it go. Now this soup cooks for a long time. So the longer you cook it, the water level goes down. So what I'm gonna do is have some water right here, just simmering, boiling. And I will add some extra water to the other pot uh, as needed. And it's hot because I don't want to have it cold as I have to put it in the other pot. So here's my soup. Now, usually there's like some foamy stuff that comes up to the top and you have to skim it because you don't want that in your soup. I don't know why I'm not getting that from these uh, shanks, but uh, it looks pretty good. So we're just proceeding. Now let me show you what, what else I'm, I have going on over here. I put on another pot of water. That is the water that I'm adding to my soup just as I need it. But this one, I'm gonna put my vegetables in here and I'm gonna add some salt to the water because I can already tell that all those vegetables are not gonna fit in this one pot. But uh, I've seen people do that. They, um, they make their meat and make the broth really flavorful and then they cook their uh, vegetables on, on the side and add them with their meat to their soup. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna just have a lot of stuff going on right here because I just want a lot of vegetables. And this is a lot of meat too. Each shank ended up being one pound, but a lot of that is uh, the bone, which adds a lot of flavor. So we're going. So because I, I was waiting to see if I had any of that foam and then I was going to skim the top, but since we didn't get that, now I'm gonna start adding some flavor to this, to this broth part. I'm gonna add my onion and my bay leaves. And this is my garlic. I'm going to add all that. And these are my, my spices, my salt and all that. Okay, I'm going to give this a nice stir and just let this keep going. As I said, this beef takes a while. It'll take at least two hours to cook this meat nice and tender. But toward the end, toward the last part, that's when we're gonna start putting all of our vegetables in. So they have time to cook, but not to be really falling apart. I don't want them too soft. So my soup is coming along. My 
my beef is almost cooked to perfection. I, I'm at the 90 minute mark, an hour and a half. Okay, so I want this to cook about 30 more minutes, but now I'm going to start adding my vegetables. Now, some of these vegetables take longer to cook than some of the other ones. So I'm gonna add my carrots. Now I told you I have an extra pot going because I know that all these vegetables are not gonna fit in this pot. So I'm gonna add these vegetables because they take a little longer to cook. So I'm at the 90 minute mark. I, I have to go another 30 minutes. Let this start going. Oh, and I'm gonna add my, my cilantro. Now I'm gonna tell you, my broth on this soup has such a good flavor. Oh my goodness. Very, very tasty. This is going to be an awesome soup. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this together and just let it keep going for another 30 minutes. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing. This is hot water and it's a separate pot. Okay, and I said I don't want to crowd that other pot too much and I want a lot of vegetables. We like a lot of vegetables in this house. So this is water. This is not the main broth. I'm gonna add some of these vegetables to each bowl that I serve of the other, of the other pot. But I want some, some flavor, so I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt to this water. So this is hot, hot water. I'm gonna add all these vegetables. So like I said, this water is hot. It's been sitting there boiling. So this is my secondary pot. I just don't want to crowd the other pot. So I'm just gonna let this cook up until my zucchini is nice and soft and my uh, cabbages cook through. And uh, in 30 minutes, we're going to have a great soup and I will show you a nice big bowl. And here's my cocido soup. My beef is very, very tender. I have my potatoes and my zucchini and just tons of vegetables, carrots, and my uh, cabbage. It's very hearty, very flavorful, perfect for a winter day and it's cold outside. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, helps me out, and I'll see you next time.